Kayla and today I am here for you with a get ready with me. I'm going to show you um, a more glammed up version of my everyday look. I've been doing a pretty simple look lately, um, but I wanted to show you guys a way to make it a little more full face. So if you want to see how I did this, keep on watching. All right, so this is going to be just a slightly more glam, fully done version of what I've been doing on a daily basis for the past week or so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Acure eye cream. Um, I got this in, I want to say, my advent calendar this year. And I've been really liking that, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And I think I fixed the setup that you guys will still be able to see me when I go and I look in the mirror. So, we will see. I'm just going to dab that on. I kind of go up and around too. Ugh. So, so this is going to be pretty simple, but it's, I mean, even more glam than I usually do. Usually I just do, like, concealer, um, a little bit of powder, mascara, um, brows, and then the eye makeup and the lipstick. I usually don't go full out with, like, foundation and everything, um, but for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to show you how I would do this look if I was doing a full face makeup. So I'm just going to start with my Steal Out One Step Correct, my tried and true favorite primer. Oh, I don't know what's going on right here. It's not a zit, so that's weird, but we're going to deal with it and hope that we can cover it. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Massage that all in. Grab my washcloth dry off my hands. Okay, um, for foundation today I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. I'm in the shade Bare Linen, which is number three. I'm just going to shake this up a lot because <laughs> I haven't used it in a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm covered in fuzz. Um, I'm going to use this with a Morphe M439 brush. This one's a little beat up. Um, but I haven't used this brush and this foundation combination in a while, but I used to use this like every day. This was my favorite, so I thought for today, give it a go. Sometimes this explodes on me after I've shaken it. Alright, so I'm just going to take, to start, a couple drops on the brush. Did four drops for now. I set it right here and just kind of start from the middle of my face and blend it away. Um, I really like this foundation because it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. Um, but it also gives, like, decent coverage, so that's good. Um, but I do end up having to use quite a bit of it. It says, like, I remember when I got it in the box, it said you can use, like, three drops for your whole face, and I was like, you're crazy. Um, I don't know what kind of people can only use three drops for their whole face. So, you're closer to me. Alright, time for more. <laughs> Yeah, they must be using like huge drops to be able to cover your whole face in three drops because that's insane. So now I'm going to go to my forehead. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> it's okay, we will blend it down. Blend, blend, blend. So my head, my forehead's been doing this like really weird. It's always my. Foundation has always been, not always been, for like the past two weeks it has been super patchy in between my eyebrows, which is so weird, and I don't know, I don't know why. I've been like trying to moisturize it even more, see what's going on, like not put primer on it, and that didn't help, so I don't know what's going on. So we're just going to roll with it. We'll add some concealer up there later and hope that it does what it needs to do. Alright, let me just look in a little closer here. Um, this brush clearly needs to be cleaned. Yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, it just gets like really splotchy right in between my eyebrows, which is so weird. But that is okay. We're just gonna blend a little more. And then call it a day. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this brush down, close the foundation, because then it will spill everywhere if I don't. Trust me, this stuff is messy, but I love it. Okay, 
then I'm gonna go ahead and just take my uh, Real Technique sponge and just kind of blot it a little bit to make sure we're completely blended out. I don't know why my computer's telling me about an update. I'm not trying to update my computer right now. I'm trying to film a video, please. Okay, let me fix that. Ooh. This needs to be blended down a little. Where's my brush? Let's blend down and out. I guess I'm paler than I thought right now. Alright. Much better. Okay. <laughs> So foundation is on. I'm gonna go ahead and take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer um, in vanilla, right? Vanilla. And go ahead and take that under my eyes. Alright, I'm a little on my nose. In that weird forehead spot that doesn't want to work. And on my chin. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to take that with the Real Technique sponge and blend away. Um, I keep going back to a lot of like really old favorites, like this concealer. I haven't used, I haven't used consistently in a while. And then a few weeks ago I pulled it back out because I was like, yeah, you know, this looks like it's the right color right now. And I haven't stopped using it since. So, clearly... I needed to be using it more because I adore this concealer. All right, we are concealed and foundationed and look kind of more human. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wet n Wild pressed pressed powder, um, the Photo Focus. I've been loving this. Like I didn't just do, I wasn't just saying that for the video. Like I love this. I've been using it almost every day. Um, so I'm just going to take, this is a mermaid brush that I got for Christmas. I have no idea what brand it is. My mom got it on Amazon. I'm just going to take that to dab it under my eyes. I love my mermaid brushes. They're so fun. I mean, like, they're not the highest quality of brushes, but they're really cute. And they'll do for what I need them for. Alright. And then I'm just going to take this Sonia Kashuk fluffy powder brush and just all around my face just lightly because this is a colored powder um, so just lightly to set down my face alright so we're not so shiny alright skin looking a million times better than it was before so that's good. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyes. So we're going to start, obviously, with my uh, Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Best eye primer ever. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with this stuff. This is probably my third tube of it. Um, I think it might have been in my last. No, I think it might be in my current empties. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if it's in my empties box right now in the video I'm about to film or if I've already filmed it empties with my last Stay Don't Stray. I honestly can't remember the last time I filmed it empties though, so. Oh no, it probably wasn't the last one. I have filmed one recently. I think I did one during Vlogmas. You guys would remember, in theory. Alright, next I'm going to take, um, a ColourPop shadow, and this I haven't been using in my daily routine. I've just been going straight on with the glitter shadow that I'm going to use later. Um, but I decided I wanted to put a little bit of a base shadow on today. So this is ColourPop Cowboy Super Shock Shadow. It's just a nice light purple. That um, completely was not opening right. That's great. There we go. Okay, I'm going to press down a little bit harder with this brush to start to get this to stick back in place. Um, I'm just taking this um, Royal and Lang Nickel. I don't even know when I got this brush. Probably in an Ipsy at some point. I'm um, just a precision angled brush, but I like it because it's um, a more synthetic brush just to kind of pack on this color just on the lid. This is like a really simple eye look. There's not any like blending required. There's nothing crazy about it. Um, it's just base color and then some glitter 
Um, it's real easy. I've been all about the easy makeup lately. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to blend in that purple a little on this synthetic brush. I need to order some of the ColourPop brushes. I really want to try some of them, but I haven't gotten around to ordering any yet. All right. So yeah, just a little bit of that, just so that I just have a little wash on my lid before I move on to the next step. So, I have gone back to an old favorite. Um, I don't even remember when I got this. Um, what... It's a part of the NARS Christopher Kane line. I don't remember how long ago that was. That's maybe two years ago? Um, but it is the Parallel Universe Eyeshadow Duo. And it just had these two beautiful, out of pink and a purple um, shimmery eyeshadow in it. And I'm going to use the purple one today, but I've been switching back and forth between the pink and purple um, on a regular basis. Um, I think I did the pink yesterday, so it's kind of perfect that I'm going into the purple today. So I'm just going to take the Sonia Kashuk brush. Usually I've been using my fingers, quite frankly, but since I have another shadow on, I'm just going to use a brush. Um, and I'm just going to pat that on top of that ColourPop shadow. Ooh, looks so much more sparkly on top of another shadow because it really pops. Oh, yeah. Oop, I got a brush hair in my eye. That's great. All right, and then just pat on this side, too. All right. So just like a bright purple eye. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. I'm not a huge like purple eyeshadow person, um, which is weird because I have blue eyes and I like purple with blue. But um, for me it's just been fun to have like a little pop of color lately without um, too much fuss. So next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And I'm still using a sample of this. I need to buy the full one. But I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow in shade 1. And just put that on my brows, just some down. I'm getting my brows waxed next week, I think. Maybe the week after. I'm not even sure. It's in March. I know that much. Might be next week. Um. So this is just to like keep them in place until they are waxed. All right. So brows are set down. Easy. Just needed to. Give them back their shape a little. Ooh, that one went a little bit cattywampus. Okay, we're good. Um, next I'm going to just put on my lip balm while I'm finishing up my eyes and my face. Um, so it dries down a little bit before I go to put on my lipstick. This is the um, Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment, just the clear one. My favorite. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, lashes curled. I'm gonna take my current favorite mascara that I've been wearing almost every day, and that is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I am obsessed with this mascara. I just bought it on a whim um, when I was older the other day. I was like, oh, it's a new Benefit mascara. I like Benefit mascaras. Um, not expecting to love this one so much. I think I love it more than regular Bad Gal. I really do. I'm kind of just in, just in awe of this mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so you guys can see the beauty that is bad gal bang all right Alright, it is like super black, super lengthening, I just am obsessed with it. It's kind of weird looking down on it right now though, I'm like trying to do mascara looking down instead of up. But, that's fine. Um, I think it just looks awesome. I'm obsessed. So, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see. 
Okay, there you go. Those be my lashes. This is a really bad angle for showing up where my lashes are because you're seeing the top of my lashes, which are like real blonde right now. But anyway, nope, wrong way. Wanna zoom you out. Okay, so lashes are done. <laughs> Woo, I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade and a Morphe M501 brush and just highlight up this face a little. And again, this is something I've just been honestly doing with my fingers, which is like so bad. But when I'm in a rush in the morning, I don't want to get out my brushes. I just want to glow up my face and get out the door. Okay. All <laughs> uh, right, and for lipstick today, I've been really wearing a lot of different lipsticks, but um, since you're going to see in a minute, and, or you've already seen, I have pink hair right now, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, I'm just going to use this Bare Minerals um, Matte Lipstick in Wink. Just a nice light pink, um, because I currently have pink hair, so if I went for like anything too wild, it might look a little odd. I've also been wearing a lot of purple lipsticks when I wear the pink eyeshadow side of this, and then pink lipsticks when I wear the purple side. So I just think they look good together. This is a really bad angle to use this new mirror of mine, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go down a little more. All right, and so there is the lip. I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and attack my face. All right, and then take my hair down, get off this headband and scrunchy ow, scrunchy that is stuck in my hair. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. <laughs> Let's just shake this out a little. Alright, and there is my pink hair. Um, but yes, this is the finished look. I think it's just super simple, but also fun, because who doesn't love a good, like, sparkly purple eye? But I just thought that I would show you guys what I've been doing as a basic look lately. Um, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you're notified when I upload a new video. I upload on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, and I would love to have you watching my videos. Um, leave a comment down below um, what your go-to makeup look is right now, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!